Super Typhoon Burloy is continuing on its passage towards the northwest at this time with winds of 150 miles per hour, our estimate, and a pressure of 927 millibars. As of midnight Japan time, this October 23rd now, as it is over there. On the CDPS scale, we're looking at Iwo Jima as a possible landfall area early on October 24th, local time. CDPS Stage 5 for this region, Category 4 typhoon conditions could be felt on the island and neighbouring islands nearby. Here is the storm's current position though, 19.6 degrees north, 143.3 east. There's still a very small wind field as typhoons go, but still has the potential to cause massive um, problems if it does make a direct hit on any of these islands that it's coming up to. 343 miles from South Iwo Jima, 382 from Iwo Jima itself, 425 from North Iwo Jima, 492 from Hajima and 530 from Ogasawara. So all warnings were lifted on the Northern Mariana Islands earlier on and there are no warnings yet in place for those uh, chains of islands in Japan just yet, the Agasawara Islands in particular we're looking at as well, uh, no warnings there just yet. Expected rainfall in those regions though, we could be looking at up to 8 to 10 inches of rainfall, that is around 200 to 250 millimeters, quite possible. Any of the pink areas you see as the storm pushes on towards the north and we curves northeast there that's three inches of rain 75 millimeters or higher in the pink zones um, as you can see the rain trail is fairly narrow so if the storm does miss by just a few dozen miles then uh, the storm's effects will be much uh, limited on any of those islands but if it does happen to track directly over on these islands it could be potentially devastating Sea surface temperatures are around 28 uh, degrees Celsius, starting to drop off a little bit as it heads further towards the North Ocean, heat content decreasing quite a lot too. Um, if it is going to get another peak intensity perhaps, then it will probably happen in the next 12 to 24 hours if it has another go. And then probably gradual weakening as it moves close to those islands, swiveling past them towards the northeast then later on this week. And then it will recurve out towards the open waters. The threat to the main islands of Japan is fairly low. We'll see on the percentages shortly. Um, but tropical storm conditions at worst along the coast of eastern Japan. So these are the percentage chances of tropical storm force winds, 93% at Iwo Jima, also at Ogasawara, 10% at Hahigo, 10% at Choshi, and 8% at Kamaishi on the eastern coast of Japan. So this is what the models are saying at this point. Well, uh, I still think they're yet to catch up with the current situation. The storm is probably a lot stronger than what the models are suggesting. Wind shear is extremely low, so you can see there it rises quite a lot late on today, local uh, UTC that is. So it's got about 12 hours of prime conditions for any further intensification, um, and then wind shear will begin to rise, sea surface temperatures will fall, and the storm will lose, probably lose its intensity. Alright, so in the last 12 hours, satellite estimates had this storm as a Category 5, uh, which is quite remarkable yet again, another storm doing so in the tracks of Hagabis. Uh, not looking quite as good in recent imagery. The eye temperature has, in, uh, has decreased, it's become more shallow. Um, but the cloud tops have still remained fairly strong, so there could be one more push for this storm to reach a new peak intensity before it starts a weakening process. But still, the threat to those islands of Japan are significant. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.